Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with a pretty large build. This is going to be a family home with four bedrooms and it's actually only using the Sims 4 base game. I feel like it's been a little while since I've done a base game build so it's kind of itching to do like a suburban family home for a larger family just using the base game so that is exactly what we were doing here today. If you'd like to download this build, it will be available on the Sims 4 Gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So this particular house is a, like I said, pretty big one. It's also kind of expensive. I can't think of the amount it costs right off the top of my head, but I am building this in the sort of starter neighborhood, Bargain Bend is the name of the lot. And the reason I'm doing that is because the lighting here is really good. Uh, so it's a little bit big for the area, but I think it would look more like it's in the right place if you also had other houses that were not the original EA builds on the surrounding lots. But I am overall so, so incredibly happy with how this build came out. I think the shape is really nice. The floor plan was very tricky, but it came together in the end. And there is space in this to convert some of the other rooms into additional bedrooms if you had a larger family in mind. So I feel like it's a pretty versatile home as well. And I feel like every base game house I do nowadays, I like to use this window that is rounded, which was one that got added to base game a couple of years ago now. <laughs> I'm not going to get into the whole uh, reasoning behind that. Uh, it had to do with like false advertising and stuff, but it's a really good window. I really like that one. And uh, I also added this little garage piece on the front of the house. That is a debug item that uh, looks like a garage. It doesn't function or anything, but I thought it added some nice interest to the front of the home. And I kind of decorated that space like a garage, like a garage that's converted into a gym. So you'll see that when we get to the interior. Uh, but right now I'm just playing around with the front a little bit more, trying to figure out where I want all of these bump outs to be how big I want them to be and trying to make the whole house look balanced because for a while I wasn't quite happy with it, but we get there in the end and uh, this is pretty much where that's going to be. And then I'm just getting uh, some flower boxes and a pathway up to the front as well as a driveway. I also use this tile to create some stepping stones to the driveway and I will be actually rotating those a little bit later. So there is actually a patch of the gravel between the last stepping stone and the driveway. It was really bothering me and I fixed it much, much later. So uh, apologies if that's bothering you as well, but I think it looks so, so nice. And then for the landscaping out front, I mostly used greenery. I don't have too many flowers on this lot. I use a couple, but I just really wanted it to look lush and green and like very purposeful. So uh, that is what we're going for here. Of course, everything is base game. I disabled all of the other packs. so I couldn't accidentally grab anything else. Although I'm not sure if this disabled the holiday pack or not, but it's not using that. I, I made sure I wasn't, but I can't remember if it disabled that or not. I usually use James Turner's website to go ahead and disable packs. It's like the easiest way. You could type out the code on your own if you wanted to, but there are so many packs now. It's just way easier to copy and paste from his website. If I remember, I will try to link that down below because it's a very useful site for not only that, but <laughs> there's a bunch of like really cool build challenge generators on there as well. I did one a couple of weeks ago now where I had generated some rules for a tiny house and it was so much fun. So uh, yeah, I'll link that down below if you'd like to check it out. Anyway, the outside of this is coming together with the front landscaping, just getting some more shrubs around the driveway. And then I also got a car. I tend to pick out the trucks for some reason out of the base game cars. I think those are my favorite. Uh, my favorite car in general is a like mini SUV that came with growing, to not growing together, get together. I'm going to get those names confused forever because they are so similar. But uh, that one is probably my favorite. But for base game, I think the truck works. We have a very small backyard because of how big this house is, but I think that's OK. Uh, there's not a whole lot of activities to do in base game anyway, unless you wanted to have a pool and things like that. And I didn't imagine this house with a pool, but you could move this to a larger lot and have them have a pool if you would like to. Uh, I ended up just having some monkey bars out front for the kids to play on as I was imagining there were some younger kids in this household. And then there's a barbecue out back and a place for a table as I just decorated the table and chairs. I also got a couple of planters. It's a pretty simple backyard, but I like how it came out. And uh, this is the monkey bars I had mentioned. And then I'm just getting a mailbox and some more greenery. And we should be heading inside fairly soon because the outside is pretty much done here. 
Looks like I'm just getting some more trees and finalizing the placement of all of that. And now we're figuring out the wood flooring. I'm pretty sure I cut out a decent amount of the floor plan experience because I started things and then I deleted them and came back multiple times. It was just a really difficult floor plan for me for some reason or another. So uh, if any of it looks a little bit choppy, that is why I just struggled with this one a little bit. But I am just getting some archways over here. There's going to be a dining room over on that side. And then you have the stairs that took me forever to place. I'm pretty sure they end up staying where they are right now. But I tr I probably spent an hour in real time trying to figure out where to put the stairs because the upstairs is really long and it's like no matter where I put the stairs, they're in a bad spot. So we do end up having a really long hallway upstairs, but I think it works out okay in the end. The primary bedroom is downstairs and then there are kids bedrooms and like a playroom upstairs. And then the house has three bathrooms total and uh, some like weird hallways, <laughs> but you'll see that as we get to it. I'm just playing around with the floor plan more now and figuring out a office space. And then we are starting by decorating the kitchen, which is always my favorite room to decorate in any build. Uh, of course, using one of my favorite counter sets from base game. If you saw that really glitchy <laughs> overlay just now, uh, that's the tool mod. I built a little bit in this build after an update before I updated the tool mod, which broke with that update. <laughs> so uh, briefly, that's why that looked so funky, but I have updated it since then. <laughs> it doesn't look like that anymore. It was still functioning. It just kind of broke the UI, which was very frustrating, but uh, I updated it. No worries on that. Uh, but anyway, I figured out the placement of the sink, the the fridge. I almost wanted to call it a shower for some reason. That is not what a fridge is. And the stove. And then I picked out these tiles, which I think are really pretty. They're one that we, uh, was it a couple of weeks ago, a couple months ago? I don't even know now. We got new swatches on a bunch of different floorings and wallpapers. And this tile is one of them and never used to have this white swatch. So I've been really enjoying it. Uh, I also added that corner shelf unit in the corner of the countertops, uh, trying to make it look like a built-in piece to add more clutter. I really liked that. I feel like I experiment more with items like that that I don't use as often when I do base game builds because I am limited and don't have the clutter that I typically use. For example, I always put cutting boards in my kitchens. There is one in debug that space game I could have used and rotated with tool, but I decided it would be more fun to experiment with some items I don't use as often. I also got a little chalkboard over here by the stove, and then I got a side table here as well as we had a little corner. Uh, and then there will be a trash can in front of where I have the aprons. I just don't add that until the last minute, but I do think this room came out so, so cute in the end. And those aprons are just like my favorite. They go in pretty much every kitchen at this point, but it's so nice that they're base game because for a while I was thinking those might have been the holiday pack, but they're not. They're purely base game. Oh, and I also added these bird plates. <laughs> Those aren't an item I use very often either, but they, they kind of felt like they matched the vibe. This whole house is, I would say like transitional. It's, it's like a mixture of more traditional furniture and some more modern elements, which kind of explains what we have in base game nowadays because we have a lot of older pieces that we got when the game first came out, a more traditional set and a more modern set. And then also... Uh, the newer items that have been patched in over time, especially the ones that were made by cu uh, custom content creators, like these chairs and table and some of the side tables that I end up using in this or some of the console tables I end up using in this build. Uh, they mix together in a way where they don't really match, but they go together at the same time. So uh, <laughs> I think that's the best way to describe the style of this house and a lot of the base game houses. Uh, but this is going to be the living room. I do end up keeping these sofas, but I don't keep this rug. I do change the color of the sofas to be a green swatch. And that ends up being carried through the entirety of this home, as you can see in the kitchen and the dining room with those green chairs and then these green sofas. And I had a lot of fun with it. Downstairs is just super green. Upstairs, there's more color as I decorated like the kids' bedrooms and stuff to be fit to their personalities. But I think it makes sense that the... Uh, main parts of the house would be decorated to the style of the parents. So their bedroom is also <laughs> this sort of green color. And I think it's really nice because it's it still feels neutral, but it also has more color. So uh, that's what I ended up going for here. We have a little side table. I put some plants and some books on and then just getting another piece of artwork. And that should be pretty much it for this living room. Yeah, moving on into the dining room, I did get this larger table there's so much seating in this house. So no matter how many 
uh, same as you have living here, you're going to have a place for them to sit. I do have two rooms that I was thinking could be converted into bedrooms. I mentioned before. One of them is, well, three rooms. One is the garage. One is the office. And then there's a playroom upstairs or like a bonus room or a family room, whatever you want to call it. It has like toys and a couple of couches and a TV and stuff. It's a more casual living room space at the end of the hall upstairs. All of those spaces could be turned into additional bedrooms or bathrooms. So I feel like this is a very like versatile house. And that way you could definitely update it to make it grow with your individual families. Uh, but anyway, in the dining room here, I made this sort of like custom hutch by combining a bunch of these cabinet pieces, a couple of shelves, and then just adding a bunch of clutter up here as well. I think this came out really nice. I looked at all of the hutches that were in the game and I just didn't really like any of them. The only hutch I really like in the game for the most part, well, I mean, there's a few that are nice, but my most used hutch is actually from the Jungle Adventure game pack. And of course, since this was base game, I didn't have access to that. Uh, so I decided to make my own and I was really happy with that. I feel like the cabinets that are in this game are super versatile for a lot of things. You can use them in kitchens, of course. You can make like custom built-ins like this. You could have them be a TV stand. There's a lot of ways to use them. And I, I like to use them in a variety of rooms in the house. Uh, so I was, I was happy with that. And then I did get these mirrors up above this fireplace because I had originally put them above the fireplace in the living room, but I opted to put a TV there instead. <laughs> so I decided to bring that idea in this room to uh, be able to use that. And then I just got some like fire pokers and some more paintings. Oh, and I ended up moving these bottles of nectar to be in the like custom hutch and I got a grandfather clock I don't know why I was so excited about that but I feel like I don't add those very often so it's it's nice when I get the chance to uh, I used some more of these cabinet pieces in the entryway to be sort of like a closet space so I have uh, some clothes hanging up there I never use that and pretty much only use that coat rack that I also used in this space we don't have too many coat rack items there's also one that comes with seasons and one with the laundry day stuff pack uh but we don't have a lot in general <laughs> so we're, we're kind of limited in that regard so i was trying to get creative with it and then i got a bookcase leading to the back door and some artwork uh, i did cut out some of the hallway spaces and some of the bathrooms but i did leave in this bathroom which is the primary downstairs bathroom it's a full bath with a shower tub combo sink toilet all of that then there is an ensuite to the primary and then upstairs there is a full bath that doesn't have a shower tub combo, but it has a tub. Uh, so if you needed to bathe a child or a dog, if you have cats and dogs, that that is available. And that one is decorated like with the same fixtures and stuff, but the towels and everything else is a little bit more colorful because I imagined it was the primary bedroom or primary bathroom for the kids. That's the, the one that the kids use. I don't know. When I was a kid, there was a bathroom that was like me and my sister's bathroom. And it was definitely more colorful with the items in it and messier and stuff than the other bathrooms in the house. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be that office space. I just have a desk in here with some clutter on it, as well as an easel in the corner, uh, bringing in that matching green chair. I got a cork board in here and I'm trying to think what else goes in this room. I think I put a bonsai tree as well, uh, since that is a scale building item your Sims can use. And then this is going to be that garage space that I had mentioned that I turned into a gym. I think this came out pretty cute. It, it's really simple. There's not like a lot I could have put in here. I also did include the woodworking table because I just feel like that's a nice garage piece and a nice skill building item for your Sims to utilize. So there's that as well as a treadmill, a weight machine and a punching bag. And I get like a bunch of counters in here to try and make that look like it is more built in. It clips a little bit with the counter, but I still think it looks quite nice. And then I get some upper head cabinets in here as well and some clutter. So I'm going to be grabbing that here shortly. I'm trying to think what things I put in here because the clutter I think of for like a garage, none of it's base game. So I'm very curious what I did grab. Uh, I did get a bunch of rugs on the floor in here, though, trying to like cover the cement and make it a little cozier uh, if you're spending a lot of time in here to do some working out. I also duplicated that garage door. So it's on the inside of the room as well. So it looks like you could open that door since it's not a functional door. Oh, I added a little TV in here. I thought it would be nice to watch something while you are working on your fitness skill. I got some wine bottles in here and some like keys and stuff. It's just like some miscellaneous decor and clutter uh, to throw around as like storage. It's a garage. You store stuff in it. And then we're moving on into the primary bedroom. I cut out me trying so many different beds. I did end up going with this bed in the end, but in this swatch with the green plaid. I think it's really pretty. 
And uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the base game beds are not my favorite. This one's pretty nice because it, it feels realistic, like a traditional bed. And I feel like a lot of people have this bed. So uh, I thought it worked well in here. And then I'm just cluttering up the bedside tables. It's going for a very green theme like the rest of the house is. And I find those little stacked baskets that we got with the infant update. I know they're meant to be like holding supplies for a baby, like diapers or creams or whatever. I find them to be a very useful clutter in like any room. They're just little stacked baskets. You don't know what's in them. Yeah, it has like a little colorful rim, but that's okay. I just really like that piece. So I use that on the bedside table in here. And then I got a dresser and a closet and some plants. Just trying to put plants absolutely everywhere to brighten up the space. And I also got an additional chest of drawers over here. And I didn't decorate the bathroom <laughs> there on suite on camera, but I am decorating the infant's nursery on camera. And I really like how this room came out because even though all of this is base game, all of the infant stuff still feels very new <laughs> since we did get them this year. So being able to decorate a nursery in a base game house just feels really nice. I love the rug and this really cute bear chair. And I did end up painting all the walls a different shade of blue. Uh, but I had a lot of fun playing with the colors in here for a while. I tried to do this yellow accent wall, but I didn't think it worked too well. But I did use these base game curtains that have like animals on them. That's a swatch I don't use very often, but I think it's really cute. And I made a collage of these little animal pictures as well as some little baby shoes up above the crib. And I was really happy with how that came out. We're just going to get a ladybug to finish that off. And then over here, I made a fake changing table since for whatever reason, they made it so changing tables are only with the Growing Together expansion pack instead of with just base game, even though infants are base game. So that's kind of weird. But I made a fake one like I used to where I put a ottoman through a dresser and then just add like some decorations on it. At least we now have like the diaper clutter and stuff with base game. So I put all of that here and some of these other pieces, bits and bobs that look like they are for babies like a basket full of like gifts as well as some lotions and things like that. And then I put a trash can in here, imagining it was a diaper pal or why do I always want to say pal? Pale, diaper pail. <laughs> and then uh, some of these like little kid bookshelves. And I believe I just get a mirror in here and that should be pretty much it for this room other than this plant. And then the next room we should be working on, I think is going to be the twin room where I have a pink and blue bed in here and like rainbow curtains. I think it is so, so cute. I had a lot of fun with this one. I feel like these bunk beds are a little bit difficult to use because they don't all have the same metal swatch. So I feel like you're kind of stuck with picking only bed swatches that have the same metal. And these two have the same metal. And of course they match. <laughs> They're like the same colors in the opposite order. So I thought that that worked nicely here. And then I decided to have a big desk space. I just grabbed this eight seater table and put a couple of chairs at it and cluttered it up with so much stuff. There's posters and books and knickknacks and toys and just so much on here. And I think it has a lot of personality and it's such a bright and colorful room. So I was really happy with how this one came out. Uh, also, we have the new swatches on the book bags that came with um, an update a couple of weeks ago. And also that lunch bag, which up until recently, I could not find. I had not found it a single time since we got it, I just, I was like, where does this thing exist? I finally found it. For some reason, it's in kids' activities instead of like decorations. And I'm assuming that's because you can put stuff in it. I'm not sure, but <laughs> I've been looking for it forever. And I just, I finally found it. So of course I had to include it in this build. So I got the cute version of it that has the watermelon slices. I really liked that. And then we are decorating this dresser over here. I got a little piggy bank or unicorn bank, as well as some nail polish polishes, some books, a teddy bear. I just think it's really cute. And I'm going to be changing the swatch of this dresser as well, because the white was a little bit stark and didn't quite match the rest of the room. Obviously, the metal of the beds is more of like a whitish or light silver, but the rest of the furniture is a brown wood. <laughs> so I decided to go for that. Uh, but this is the teenager's room. I was thinking this thing was really into music. At first, I thought I was going to make this custom bed head by using this little bench, but I got rid of that in the end because I just didn't like how it looked. It looked a little bit off, but I loved the idea of making this bed into a double bed. I just kind of combined two singles together, and it's not one I use that often with the guitars on it. Uh, so I decided to add a sort of like guitar poster <laughs> above the bed as well as a video game poster. We have a guitar in the corner for your Sims to play. And then I got some CDs and stuff and just miscellaneous clutter to make this space feel 
lived in and a little bit messy and I embraced the orange of the bed and brought that into the curtains. We also got a pride flag in here and some movie posters and it, it feels like a teen's room to me. I, I really like how this one came out. I've also just been really enjoying the new swatches that we got on this particular wallpaper. So I used this deep blue in this room and then we have a dresser and a desk. Uh, did I give this sim a computer? I want to say I did. I think I put a laptop at this desk. Yeah, I did. And then I just put a couple of pieces of clutter. I don't put a lot in here. I'm pretty sure it's just books, a lamp, and a stereo. I figured they would probably want a way to listen to some music. And then I changed that swatch back to brown and get a couple of pieces on the wall. And that should be it for that room. Yep. And now we are moving on into the family room, the game room, the bonus room, the playroom, whatever you'd like to call it. I struggled with the layout in here for a very long time, so I did cut out the process of the layout, which should be happening here shortly. And there it is. <laughs> the couches are on that wall. And then I moved where the the like dollhouse was going to be. And this is kind of a room that doesn't feel like as, it's as put together as the rest of the house. It's kind of like their old furniture and the kids liked this rug, so they picked that out. And there's like bits and bobs here and old pieces of art that they might have had hanging up in a different place or they picked up at a flea market. Like this is the more lived in cozy space that they just hang out as a family. There is a TV in here, but I was thinking this space was more so for offline things, but I figured it was still nice to have a TV in here if you prefer to have your Sims do that. And uh, if you have city living, you could play video games in here. Uh, but I was just trying to focus on activities your Sims could do and some skill building. So there's lots of toys. There's the little kids arts table and you know, plenty of space to move around. I have some toys on the floor for toddlers to play with as well. And then just getting some more artwork on this wall above the TV. I get these ones as well as that decal of the unicorn and a little plant in the corner. And that's pretty much it for this build. I believe we're just going to be getting a couple of decorations in the hallway and calling it at that. We'll be heading on into screenshots shortly. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy those screenshots and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.